Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial is going to cover Microsoft Access 2016 and how to create queries, forms, and reports. Let's go ahead and get started. So today's lesson I have two tables in Microsoft Access and I have one that's called inventory right here and if I double click it to open it up you can see that the table contains various information on what looks to be like a snack bar at maybe a, a local uh, a park and it has different information on what the items are, what the categories, the price, the quantity and stock, things like that. And then if I close this table and I open up the inventory storage table, you can see the categories, the storage room, and the location. So that way we can quickly find the goods that we're selling at the snack bar. All right, so one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to create a query based off of this table right here. And so we have an inventory table right here. And let's say your boss comes up to you and your boss says, I want to know the item, the price, and the quantity in stock for that um, you know that particular uh, for any particular item so you say alright I could do that so we go ahead and close this table and we could actually create a query that more or less has just that information on it nothing else that we don't need so the way that you do that or the way that you create any object in Microsoft Access is you go right here to the create tab then in the create tab you'll see all kinds of groups in here I've already created tables so I'm not going to go over that one in uh, today's lesson but then you see this one right here query Okay, and if you hover over these two right here, it says show the query wizard, which helps you create a simple query, cross tab query, find duplicates, or find unmatched. Okay, so if you've never created a query before, you should check out uh, Query Wizard because it'll kind of guide you through the steps. Now, if you have created a query before uh, and you kind of know a little bit more about what a query is and what a query does, is you could go right here to Query Design, and this says create a new blank query in Query Design. Well, the good thing about this one is that if you know how to use it you just go ahead and you click it right there and it'll take you to this show table dialog box now the scenario that I said earlier was your boss wanted to know the item name the quantity and stock and the price of that item well that's all in our inventory table so I could click right here on the inventory rather double click it and it's gonna pop up in the background right over here so this is how you create a query in query design now this inventory table pops up right back here notice that I cannot actually do anything over here until I close the show table dialog box so I close out of that and now I'm gonna expand the size of this right here okay and so now I have this right here and I say alright there's inventory but before I can create a query which again uh, a query is basically a way to answer a question using access so the question was what's the item name the price and the quantity and stock of all of the items that we have in our snack bar well I could go right here to the item and I could double click it and it's gonna populate right down here in our design grid and then I could go over here to the price, double click that, and it's going to pop up as the second field in our design grid. And now I could go right down here to quantity and stock, and it's going to populate as the third item in our design grid. So I say, all right, that's perfect. And then so I click run right up here to run the query to see what the results look like. And I click run, and that's going to take us back to this data sheet view. It kind of looks like a table right now, right? And so it looks like a table. It says query one right there for the name, and it gives me all the items, the price, and the quantity and stock for all items. But Let's say that your boss says, oh, hey, you know what? I just want to know which items have less than 100 uh, quantity in stock. So we see some that have 50 and 10, and these ones have 100. So if I just want everything less than 100 to appear here, I have to change something in my design grid, and that's the criteria. So I'd go back to the design uh, view right here in the Home tab, Views group, Design view. And now I could go into here, and I could set a criteria right down here and you'll see criteria for quantity in stock of less than 100. So you'll see right there, I did the less than symbol and then 100. And now you can see I could run the query and it shows me all items with the quantity in stock of less than 100. So there we go. We've now answered our boss's question. Our boss said, hey, I need all items uh, in stock, the name, the price, and anything less than 100 items. That way I know what to order. So we say, all right, that's perfect. We've got this. And so we're going to do a control S to save. And I'm going to do, I'm going to call this all items less than 100 in stock and I click OK. Alright and there we go we have our items right there 
all items less than 100 in stock. So now I can go ahead and close that. And so that's how you create uh, in a query. And obviously, there's plenty of other ways to uh, set criteria on your query, sort in ascending order, things like that. Uh, but I'll cover those in a different video. So that's how you create a query. So what happens now if your if your boss says, hey, you know what? We need to fill in some more items into the inventory table here. We have this inventory table. What if you want to fill more items in, but you want to do it one record at a time? Well, the way that you would do that is to create a form. And so I'm going to close this table, and I'm going to have inventory selected right over here. And I'll go up here to forms, and I'm going to click on form right here. Now, again, inventory has to be selected, but not open. You should have no objects open whenever you create anything in Microsoft Access. I go right up here to form and I click in form and you'll see that right here it'll create an inventory form again because I had inventory selected right over here. Now I can go through and add in or adjust different um, items within uh, the categories here and I could just go right here to new record down below and I could start adding in new records. Okay, and so that's what forms are for. Typically, you use forms to add in new records and new information. You could always do a control S to save your forms, and I could just save it as inventory form. That way, I know it's the inventory form. I click OK, and there it is. It populates right on the left side underneath form. So that's how you create forms. So I'm going to go ahead and close this form now. All right, so the last thing I want to go over with you in today's uh, Microsoft Access tutorial is how to create reports. Now, earlier we did this query based off of uh, our information on the item and the price and the quantity in stock under 100. And I have this right here, and I'll, I'll close it now. And let's say I want to print this out to give to my boss. Well, the best way to print things in Access is by uh, creating them into reports. And so I have all items less than 100 in stock selected over here in pink, but I have not opened it, right? It's still closed. So now I go to the Create tab, and I'm going to go over here to Reports, and I'm going to click on the word Report. Creates a basic report of the data in the current query or table to which you can add features such as groups or totals. So I click right there on report and it creates a nice little report here. Now the report um, is already basically set up in what's kind of looks like a print preview mode. You can see that it adds in a title, the date, the time, so on and so forth, and all of this can be customized in your layout view. Okay, and so that's the design tab, views group, layout view right here and you can basically customize everything that you want right here. Now notice some items such as this one right here are uh, a little bit off in the report, like this says the price and this is the total price down here. Uh, if I wanted to say increase the height of this or delete this or something like that, I could just click on it and then press the delete key and since that's the kind of data that I don't need. And then I could always adjust my different items in the property sheet. Obviously, there's a lot more that you could do in reports, but I'm just going to save it right now and click OK. So Control S and OK. And so now I have this object open. I'm going to go over the property sheet in a separate video, so I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I'll close out of this report. Notice that the query, the form, and the report that I created all appear on the left side in my navigation pane. So hopefully this video helped you out on figuring out how to create queries, create forms, and create reports. Again, queries are answering a question based off of your table data. Forms are how to basically enter in new data and edit existing data. Uh, and then finally, reports are a way to figure out how to print and modify the data so that it shows up well on a sheet when you actually print it out. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I create about three videos every week, so it'd be great if you could leave a comment and let me know if you have any video requests that you'd like to see done. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.